All right. Somehow, some way, Metroid Prime has returned. <laughs> Somehow, Metroid Prime returned. Metroid Prime Remastered, announced today, released today for the low cost of $39.99. Holy shit. That's a good reminder about Metroid Prime subs. It's so true. Over here on twitch.tv slash Jake Twitchin. If you have Amazon Prime, you can use your sub here on my channel. And if you don't use it, it's basically like throwing away money. You already paid for it. Don't let Bezos keep his bucks. How am I doing? I think pretty pretty well. But uh can I spin the wheel? If you use your prime sub, you get one free spin of the wheel. Um so here's the deal. This game was announced and released today. I'm excited. My history with Metroid Prime is not as strong as it should be for someone who really likes the Metroid series. I remember this day the day this game came out. Uh Metroid Prime and Metroid Fusion came out together and I got the Game Boy Advance game because I was more into portables at that time. I had the uh, what's it called? The GameCube. But I just really wasn't sure on Metroid. And I think, honestly, if I'm being honest, the reason why I went Fusion over Prime was because <laughs> Samus's suit was blue in Fusion, and I like the color blue. So, truly, I I chose this. Uh, I chose to, to ditch this, and I chose Fusion. So, I'm experiencing this. I've gone back and I've played the opening hours of this game on GameCube in the years that followed me skipping it on release day, but I haven't given it a shot in a long time. I've never beat it. I've never really given this game a fair shake. So I'm super excited to check it out here on stream. So, I mean, without further ado, I'm just gonna hop into this thing. Um, I'm amped for it. I still can't believe they haven't said a word about Metroid Prime 4, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. Let's just fucking hop in. gotta be casual just gotta be I gotta change my uh, Metroid Prime be mastered Ooh. it's got options unidentified distress beacon has been tracked to a derelict space vessel in orbit above Talon 4 how many streamers do you think just said Talon IV? Probably a lot. I would guess majority say four, but I bet there's a lot of Talon IVers out there. Roman numerals aren't easy for all people. Only Final Fantasy fans and educated folk <laughs> understand Roman numerals. <laughs> Any Romans in chat? So true. Such a good question. Such a tough call. Tough call. Uh, game looks good, dude. I'm excited to see how much of it is like new coat of paint. It's wild. I mean, usually, you know, games. I don't want to say games this big, but this is a pretty large shadow drop for them to say, "Here you go," with no hype. I was kind of more expecting what they did with Advance Wars of like, "Hey, it's here. It's ready to go. Well, you can have it in two months." That would have been a reasonable thing. Instead, they just laid this shit on us, so we don't really know who did the port, who, what is the remastered, is it AI upscaled, are there new models? I don't have any of this information, and I've been fucking streaming all day, so I haven't read any of it either. I don't know if there's hands-on, I don't know who knew this was coming, but I think it looks excellent. I mean, the Switch isn't exactly a powerhouse, but this looks like a perfectly acceptable video game for 2023 on the Nintendo Switch. And I'll tell you, the sound is awesome right now. Super haunting music. You <sighs> love that fucking sound. And I love the visor too. It's, oh, that feels so right. It feels so right. Okay. Ooh. Weird. Left bumper is jump. Alright, so left bumper is jump, right bumper is like a explodey missile, right trigger is like your rapid fire thing, or you can hold it and get a concentrated blast. Okay. Seems pretty reasonable. 
The next set of force field controls are offline. Scan the central pillar to activate them. Sure. Use right on the D-pad to scan the button. Okay, okay. Okay, whoops. Fucked up. How do I scan it? Press and hold ZL. Got it. Okay. We have scanned. Scanning initiated. Awesome. Combat visor it is. Oh, okay, so you don't have to be like, there's no auto aim, which I was noticing was like a little bit difficult just using the up, down, left, right on the stick, but you see the rotating arrows here. It kind of will hone in on what it's looking to hit. That's why I'm doing so well. Hey, what the fuck? I shot your shit, bro. Can I come through? Got it. Scan it. This force field blocks the entrance. Something nearby must be able to deactivate it. Force field activation switches. Oh, I see it! Boom, baby! We're gaming. I don't love left bumper jump. Just feels a little fucking weird. I guess it's kind of Halo-y. I do play Bumper Jumper. Oh, A is also shoot. Oh, and B is also jump. Okay, cool. That feels a lot better. Now we're jumping. It's 11.30 and the club is... Jumping, jumping. Just a little Destiny's Child for you, chat. All right, I, don't, I clearly don't need to scan everything. You can just fucking roll through. Oh shit! Bugs! I see you down here. You'll get what's coming to you. We kill all the bugs. Press and hold ZL to lock onto enemies. Excellent. Ooh. This feels good, dude. In 2023, we're holding it down. That's a big enemy. Really cool looking. God, I'm your beef boy. You are a beef boy. You have a charge beam. Cool. And dude. A lot of boys. That's a lot of them boys. Do I not have morph ball yet? Plus one morph balls, please. Access to deck beta approved. Please step into the hologram. Use the morph ball to get through small areas. How? Press Y to turn into the morph ball. Can I go back up? I skipped something. Let's find out. We can. Oh, awesome. The morph ball looks great. Look at the lighting on the remaster here. Super glowy. Pretty slick, I must say. Download the map. I'm so glad we turned around and grabbed this shit. Are you kidding me? Imagine skipping the map. Nice. Ooh. Ugh. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's not great. But it's not too bad. It'll do the trick in a pinch, you know? 
No map? Yeah, I could never. I could never. We do be needing the map. Although anything's an upgrade over that Hogwarts Legacy map, I'll tell you that much. It's been a fucking nightmare. It's the problem with having a game that is intrinsically set up for an open world maze. Yep. Clutch. Man, this game feels good, dude. Don't teach me how to strafe, I get it. I understand. I understand right away. These are the dead things. Fire missiles with our that's right. Oh. oh, nope, missile, missile. A missile takes like electronics, I guess. It seems. Scan it. Morphology unknown. Info this specimen has been horribly mutated. There are no life readings. Thank God. Parasite shit. Pirate data. Excellent. Thank you for the pirate data. And what are you? Elevator operational, please step into the hologram. Cool. Oh no, wrong button. Metroid works better than you'd think in first person. I know people have been saying that for years, but Especially now with these upgraded controls, dual stick. This just feels like the way it was always supposed to be played. And it feels great. I'm having a good time. I got him. All these dudes are like half incapacitated. They're all like ass out laying on the ground. <laughs> Can I have you? Nice, we got it. Uh, visor, scan. Access to gamma approved, step on the hologram. Excellent. This game is a whole fucking vibe, dude. I'm having a good time with it, though. I think this is gonna turn into a full playthrough. Okay, I was about to scan, but I realize now maybe we kill the enemies first. Door lock enabled. Please insert metallic sphere to open door. Well, I've got just the thing. I am the metallic sphere. Gotcha, bitch. What now? Oh. I got it. I understand, I understand. Okay, I forgot which button it is. You got it, you got it, you got it. The charge beam can be used to draw in pickups? Press and hold ZR. Ah. Uh, got it. Cool. Good feature. You are... Metallic Sphere Door. Okay. We'll come back for you. I see our first, like... Oh, save point. Got it. Game is saved. Energy fully replenished. That's what the doctor ordered. Now, we can sphere it up. Nice.
Any of y'all want beef? Just making sure. Just making sure nobody wants beef. It seemed like some may have wanted beef at some point. Perhaps some have already fucked around and found out. You know? We fighting a boss right now? Destiny stole this from Metroid. Destiny stole this from Metroid. Tag Colleen. Ooh, the dash is nice. Scan the enemy to find his weak point. Can do. A uh, new creature has been downloaded to your logbook. Fuck, how do I open my logbook? If you were my logbook... R. Logbook. Pirate data creatures. Bro. Bro. This is what you want me to do? This is your plan? Weak spot has been detected in the creature's mouth! Use your auto-targeting. Oh, I don't need to read this. I could have just targeted it and it would do it. Yeah. Okay, so now the targeting system just knows that this is how we fucking do it. You shoot it in the goddamn mouth. That works for me. Where's my health? Oh, I think I'm top mid. 94. Easy, bro. Evacuate immediately. Evacuate. Oh, a classic. Evacuate. Countdown to get out of the level. Fun. You got some actual platforming going on. This is definitely a very Metroid thing to do. Oh my god. It's a lot of like weird commands, like I have to hit right on the D-pad and then hold the left trigger and I need to remember that to activate all this shit all the time. And then it's up on the D-pad to close that and hold right trigger to charge this. And so, I mean it's not... It's not a completely intuitive video game, but it's not so bad. It's fun, and that's the most important part. Shit! Sick. Oh my god. You're alive. I mean, you're now not alive. But you were alive when I walked in here. <laughs> and I wasn't expecting that. And I will now unalive you. Are you still on? Nice. There's a sense of urgency here. This is fun. Oh, fuck. Dude. Oh, there's too many. I think you just haul ass. Is this smart? No. 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 That, that was not smart. Did I just go in a circle? Bro. Bro. No. 
No, not a circle? No, it wasn't a circle. It just felt circular. <laughs> Fuck, man. Time's going down. What an opening level this game has. 2001, I want to say? Metroid Prime? Does that make sense? I think it does. I don't really know the strategy for getting past these things outside of take a bunch of damage and deal with it. <laughs> And those are like some sort of new layered doors. I was honestly expecting to like get out of this base in like one minute and not have to worry about my time. And now I'm like, I've halfway exhausted my time. Holy shit. Okay, wait, wait. Let's study. Do I go up? I think I go upstream. Yeah. We're gonna follow it up. Good shit, man. Super intense. Ridley? Mecha Ridley? I don't remember this at all. To grapple, you ZL. Noodle, what's going on, my man? Wild day, you catch any of the Nintendo Direct news? We are playing Metroid Prime, which fucking shadow dropped out of nowhere today. Remastered. Auto turret disabled, thank god. We still blast it? Yeah, we should. Uh, demo for Sea of Stars came out, we just played that. Demo for Kirby Return to Dreamland on Switch just came out. Did not was excited to see you playing this? Yeah, man, it's, it's absolutely wild. I can't believe that we're, uh, here playing Metroid. In 2023. What the fuck do I have to do? Here we go. Nope. Yep. Oh my god, I just had to scan it so that I could take the fucking elevator. Yeah, it's, uh, I was actually just about to Google when this came out. My guess was 2001. Metroid Prime GameCube release date. 2002, November 18th, 2002. So, this came out and I was talking about, yeah, I never played on GameCube either. What happened was, alright, I did play it on GameCube but not on launch. Uh, it came out the same day as Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance, and I was just a young idiot at that point. And to me, I said, I'm not buying two Metroid games, but Metroid Fusion looks cooler because it's blue, and I liked portable games when I was a kid, because if I was getting dragged somewhere, I'd have something to do. So I got Metroid Fusion for my Game Boy Advance, and I passed this up. And then I want to say that I played some of this game at one point or another, um, but I don't remember shit. And it's really good to be playing it. Just the first Prime game? Yes. So it's uh, 40 bucks. It's the first Prime game. It's not remade. It's just remastered. But as you can see, it looks great. I mean, the, the first one held up pretty well. And now we're over here in 2023 playing Metroid Prime 1 again. I hope if it sells well, maybe we get 2 and 3. Also, having it redone to use dual stick controls and really just like perform in a modern fashion is making this a, a pleasurable experience. I mean, we're 25 minutes into it. We just completed the first level of boss and escape. And now we're getting into like the real game itself. And I, I don't know what more people could ask for. Really great. I guess you could ask for the trilogy. <laughs> Might have to pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. Worth checking out.
and I think the price is right. 40 bucks feels fair. I think 30 bucks they would have sold a lot more copies because that feels like a no-brainer. 40 bucks is maybe a lot to ask, but... Yeah, just drop the trilogy. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. I mean, they did that on the Wii, and it wasn't so hard, right? Any word on 4? Not a fucking word. Mum is the word, in fact. But hey, we'll take a shadow drop. The coolest part is it's a shadow drop. They could have very easily said Metroid Prime Remaster is coming in April. But instead they said, here, take it today. Which is super exciting. They didn't even give me time to think about it. I just said, take my, take my fucking cash. <laughs> New extras unlocked in the main menu. Thank you. Do I want to save? Yeah, sure. Now we're in the real shit. Nice outdoor, we're not just in corridors all the time. Yeah, I think the remaster looks nice. Still like physical games? So from what I understand, Noodle, the game is released today digitally, shadow dropped, and you can buy it. But for $40, the same price, you would be able to buy a physical copy on I think February 22nd. I would fact check me, but they are doing a physical release as well. I know that was in the announcement. And I get that. Uh, I do a, a podcast noodle, a video game podcast, and we reacted to the Nintendo Direct, and we do like a monthly show where we talk about like our game of the year and all that kind of stuff. And uh, my my uh, counterpart, my co-host Colin, is big on physical media still, and I am like, I'll pay the price of convenience for me. I just wanna wanna get it over with, get the game on my system and play it without having to run to the store or do anything. Every once in a while, if it's like a, a big deal, I'll, uh, you know, go out and want to have something to show. Is it on YouTube? Yeah, it is on YouTube. It's also, if you just search Game List uh, in, like, your favorite podcast app, you'll find it there as well. Uh, exclamation point Game List in chat. There's a little website for it. If you click that, it'll bring us right to our YouTube page. It's just at Game List Show on all platforms. Or if you search Game List in Apple Podcast or on Spotify, we'll come right up. But uh, the YouTube has the video version for all of our stuff and is maybe the best way to access everything. Found the link, my man. My man, appreciate you looking into it. Every little button click helps, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so I think we came from up here. But I never actually went in that door. Listen to the music in this game, dude. So good. This is, uh, we're having a time. This is a fun night of streaming. We already played Harry Potter earlier. So many digital games becoming vaporware now. Gotta go to physical. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is true. Anything over here? I don't know how much, like, nook and cranny searching I should be doing in this game. I'm not sure if, like, going off the beaten path is really rewarded or... It's nice playing this for the first time, really, in 2023. I mean, I don't... I didn't remember any of the first level. I'm certainly not going to remember the second level here. Loon is indeed a lifestyle. But I'm just truly unsure if, uh... What, what went red? Oh, there's some mushrooms down there. Some nice platforming, too. Why can't I use my, uh, missile? Weird. There was some strange pop in it. Felt like this blue just moved. Who could tell? We'll progress. You disgusting plant monster. Cease your activity. Man, these nice renditions of, like, the classic Metroid themes are really, really slick. Okay. Door cannot be opened with that weapon. Really? Can I scan it? A new research entry has been downloaded to your logbook. There's a blast shield on the door blocking access. 
Flash shield is invulnerable to beam weapons. Explosive weapons may damage it. Well, I don't have explosive weapons, bro. Fuck, I gotta come back here? We're backtracking? I haven't been scanning shit. Alright, I've maybe made some mistakes already. <laughs> That's okay. No fall damage? We love that. Uh, where did I come from? Do I have the map for this place? I do I have a map? Talon Cave. Is S my ship? No, it's a save station. Okay, so I guess this is forward progress. I don't think I've been here. No, this is where I started. Fuck me. Maybe it's not. I had this problem in the first level too. I think there is a, like a little bit. I gotta remember, this is a game from 2002. This is more than 20 years old. Like there are going to be some recycled environments. Cocksucker. I was, I was right. <laughs> this is exactly where I came from. I want to check the other end of this. I got sidetracked into doing the loop-de-loop -loop and exiting the top door. I don't think I went all the way through and checked out back here. So we'll get this done. And then we know that door up around the bend requires some sort of weapon upgrade. Explosives of some sort. Okay. Progress made, baby. Chozo Ruins West. Okay. Sounds good. Slick. I'm assuming this is a loading screen. But instead of giving me a loading screen, they give me this nice little animation of Samus riding the elevator. Which is honestly pretty nice. And uh, a, a great courtesy in 2002. Not something you often saw. This is the land of loading screens back then. Seismic disturbance at ruin site. Okay. We got something to do. We got a mission. World map. Holy fuck. Expansive. This game's pretty, dude. I like these more open environments. A little, little bit of sandboxiness. Really cool to get a room overview. Reminds me of like a entering a Zelda dungeon for the first time. Hey, yay, yay. All right, we got work to do. Hey. What are we out here? Sandbagging motherfuckers. What the fuck said that? <laughs> Passageway to shrine. We want that? I mean, well, we'll take a look, fuck it. Close. Oh, we can't open it. God damn. Dope half pipe. <laughs> Some extreme sports going on, on this planet. Little Tony Hawk. Samus Aaron, pro skater. Perhaps. Hey. Chat, you know my pet peeve. Fighting small enemies. Any game where I've got a big ass sword and I have to like fight fucking rats on the ground, I'm pissed. Accuracy is just deadly right now. I'm cracked. I'm gaming out of my mind. What is this, bro? So I must have, like... I think what happened is, like, I... It might have, it might have been something that was, like, explained during the escape or something, but I guess I probably had like my suit damaged or something like that because now I can't charge my shots like I could before, and my right bumper just makes this sound instead of shooting the missile that was 
disabling like the turrets in the last one. So I'm assuming my missile is in fact what I need to regain access to so that we can progress through those blast doors that are blocked off for me right now. But uh, I don't know that for a fact. What the fucking wasp? All this and more soon to come on the J Twitch channel. Yeah, like I don't have my charge up so I can't Look at that secret over there. Look at that tantalizing secret over there. Oh, I want it so bad. I don't even know what it is, and I want it so bad. I'm assuming it's... Oh, look. Look at this. Is this something? I can't morph ball yet! Fuck! I lost that too, dude. Drat! But it's cool. It's giving me a lot of carrot on the stick. We love a dangled carrot. I want to save? I absolutely want to save. I've never wanted to save more. Mm, we came from here. We can't access there. We'll go this way. Good save, though. You got anything to, uh, scan around here? Definitely. Chozo Sculpture, crafted in honor of Talon Star. Yeah. Chozo! Revelio! It sucks that so much stuff is out right now. Like, there's so much I want to stream right now. I still need to stream Year to Rhythm. I wanted to play more Hogwarts tonight. I don't know. The Hogwarts stuff has been so good. Has made for great streams, too. I feel like they're well attended. They're getting great views on YouTube. The clips are hitting. And I'm, I'm having fun doing it. Which I think... Obviously is always going to make for a better stream. The kind of thing is... Paramount! Some would say. A good stream. Not gonna be fun to watch if your streamer's not having a fucking blast, bro. Whoa! Why is it sending warning on my HUD right now? Cool environments. That was the thing that was hiding in the morph ball structure before, too. I'd like to figure that out. Are we in like a boss fight of some sort? Oh yeah, you're kind of a boss. Uh, let me scan you. High frequency signal cause of the uh, war wasp swarms. Understood. I think we're doing pretty well. I don't know what more there is to do other than spin around and kill the fucking enemies that pop up on my screen, but you know, it seems to be going all right. Hey, come on. All right, game. That's supremely annoying. Killing as many of these things straight on as I can before they start swarming. Huge. Bro, I'll sit here all day. Stop fucking moving. You're kidding me. What is the secret here? 
Anyway, that's a wrap for Metroid Prime. <laughs> Is he just trying to figure out where they stop? Is that the... Yep. Okay. I got you pegged down. Please. Oh, thank God it was only three phases. Woo! Woo! Missile acquired. So is this a single missile that I can fire? Or is this the upgrade for my missile... Missile launcher acquired. Cool. Press R to fire missile. Press ZR and A to switch back to beams. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is just the... Easy. Oh, it is... Energy tank. Maximum energy capacity. By 100. Okay. Cool. So there's a finite amount of missiles now. It's not as simple as... I can just fucking mash R1. Or fucking R. Alright, 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 game. Jesus. Christ. <laughs> um... I need to pay attention and shoot those missiles. It seems like I shouldn't even be using the missiles for combat at all. I should be saving them exclusively for doors because I've seen way more than four doors already that I want to shoot missiles into. For example, right fucking here. Boom. Hey, save point. I think. No? You've downloaded the map for this area. Poggers. <laughs> All right. You know what? I was hating on this map for a while. It's not a bad map. It's not a bad map. If I'm being quite honest. We have a lot to explore. You miss map lore, you're you're in good shape. Not a problem. It's for the Talon Overworld. Yeah, okay. This is where I started. I came in. This was the first blast door that was sealed that I couldn't access. We took we hung this left. Found that save room, that's right. I couldn't get here. This was too high up. So it was just the end of that room. So I think we're still kind of in backtracking mode. Where we'll be backtracking back to the main plaza, but now that we have our... Missiles... We'll be able to do a lot more. We can explore these other four routes. This looks really interesting to me. A fairly short... Runway, but... This big cylindrical fucking room looks unlike the others. Ants for sure. Cool. Very cool. Um, still no morph ball though. This is my next, uh, I guess, mission. Hey, come on. I think this way. Ooh, shit. I'm just gonna roll my ass past that. <laughs> That's my fucking plan. Thank God it's unlimited ammo for this thing. Hell yeah, I want to save. Um, 
Should I call it a stream? When did I start? We played an hour of Sea of Stars. We did 45 minutes of this. We did a half hour of Kirby. I mean, I've been live for two and a half hours. Do I want to play more of this? Do I want to check out Game Boy Advance games? Do I want to play Harry Potter? I could jump into that, which is maybe what I actually like desire right now. I kind of desire to play Hogwarts. I'm not saying I'm not going to play the other things again. I mean, Kirby is one and done. We'll do a part two of Sea of Stars at some point to finish that demo from where it crashed. This I'm going to play fucking more of, no doubt. But I think I want to... Yeah, I think I want to jump into Hogwarts, dude. Let's call this a stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 